They're cute, adorable, slow, and lazy. Nope, they may be often misunderstood, but sloths are probably one of the most interesting animals out there because of their extreme qualities. In today's episode, we're fortunate enough to be able to visit the sanctuary south of the city of San Jose to interact, meet face to face, and experience the awesomeness of these furry creatures. So what are we waiting for? Join me as I explore this beautiful place, the Sloth Sanctuary in Costa Rica. Let's go, vamanos! Situated four hours south of the capital city of San Jose, the Slot Sanctuary of Costa Rica is the original rescue center for injured, orphaned, and abandoned slots. At the entrance, you will be welcomed by the photos and memorabilia of Buttercup, the sanctuary's official mascot and representation of the sanctuary's conservation efforts to protect their kind. For the tour, we were fortunate enough to be assisted by Mr. Sloth Guy himself, Jeffrey Roque. He is the grandson of the founder of the Sloth Sanctuary, Judy Abby Arroyo. Jeffrey first showed us the different sections of the sanctuary, enclosures, and introduced us to several of the rescued slots, most of which are now permanent residents of the sanctuary because of their injuries. Finger on his right hand, two fingers on his left, two toes on his right foot, and three toes on his left oh, foot. So okay. he's a one finger, two finger, two toed, three toed slot. Wow. If you're going to differentiate these animals according to how many fingers or toes they have, you won't know what he is. That's so great. all you need to do to determine what he is is look at his that's, face. That's the injured part, huh? Uh huh. But he seems to be getting around. Oh, look at that. He was hanging from one foot effortlessly, like, oh. yeah, this is fine. This one right here that you're filming, her name is Abigail and she's lost her right arm due to electrical. Wait, damage. this one doesn't have an other arm? Neither does she. This wow. one lost her left arm because of the burns. We had to amputate the arm, but we didn't hear it. Hello. Hello. We had the sloth hospital in the back to care for them. This is Chewbacca. 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 For those of you who do not know, he is the actual Chewbacca who performed in the various original Star Wars suit. No way! Yeah, yeah, he was wearing the suit and everything. <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah, that would be hilarious if it was true. He does kind of look like a Wookiee. It does. So Chewbacca is... Was he, in, was he inspired by the sloth, Chewbacca? You know, that's a good question because I know many science fiction films are inspired by real life scenarios. Like, mm -hmm. for example, um, E.T. Yes. Steven Spielberg went on a trip to the Amazons and found a three-fingered sloth swimming. Mm -hmm. These guys. And when they are wet, they are really strange, look, well, they're strange looking in general, but they were, it's really thin. Three fingered sloths have a long, flexible neck, really long arms and short mm -hmm. legs. That inspired him, apparently, from what I understand, to create ET. We were mind blown with all the information that we have learned about these amazing creatures. Oh my gosh, she's eating the carrot. What? Wow, if you're just eating, she's eating. Sloths are what we call a poikilothermic mammal. They do not regulate their temperature as well as most mammals, keeping a constant temperature. It varies anywhere between 84 and 96 Fahrenheit, or 28 to 34 degrees Celsius. And it appears as though the amount of calories they have available to them can help them produce more or less heat. What is so, the exact term? Poikilothermism. Poikilothermism. So if you're not cold-blooded and you're not warm-blooded, you are a... Poikilotherm. You're a poikilotherm. This is also the reason why they're very slow, to conserve their energy. Therefore, sloths are not lazy. They're energy efficient. They also have a song for the baby sloth. A song? Yeah, for the baby sloth. You know how they have a song for the baby shark? Oh yeah, <laughs> baby shark. Well, this would be the slowest song in history. <laughs> baby sloth, doo doo doo. <laughs> Speaking of babies, we're now heading to the cutest part of the sanctuary, the neonatal intensive care unit and the nursery. It is here where the sanctuary care for the infant slots, 
that are accidentally separated from their mother, abandoned, or orphaned. Ruby. Ruby. La telenovela Ruby, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Está muy famosa. Hola, chica. Thanks. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah, they, they love each other, these two. Ruby oh. and Ebony, they're like best friends. No, you know what? Since they have different color, you should change. You should call them coffee y crema. Coffee y crema. Coffee y crema. Sí. O café con leche. It is definitely cuteness overload in this section of the sanctuary. And as an added bonus, we were even allowed to interact with them and take some Instagram-worthy photos. But remember, no-touch policy, guys. <laughs>